In this video, we're gonna take you on a tour of beautiful Springfield Historic District. It is the oldest neighborhood in the Jacksonville, Florida area. I'm sitting right here, right off Main Street. We're gonna give you a vlog tour. You're gonna to see all of historic Springfield, all the beautiful homes, all the history. Stay tuned. Okay, what's up everybody? We're gonna be touring Springfield. I'm on Main Street. Uh, as you can see, they have a lot of green space here, a lot of empty areas, some buildings that's needing refurbishing, commercial. This is the commercial district of Springfield. So we're walking up on the main drag area, but I wanted to show you some of the areas as you lead up to it. Uh, so just so you know what you're kind of getting into. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly in some of these clips. So you'll be able to see everything. All you need to know about living in Jacksonville, Florida, in the oldest neighborhood, uh, Historic Springfield. So it looks like they're doing a Main Street water treatment projects going on, JEA, which is our electric company here in Jacksonville, Florida. You'll hear a lot about them if you choose to move here. So we're just, like I said, walking and talking, showing you some sights. Here's the bus stop right here. One of the businesses down here, downtown, Catlin, established in 1919, so it's been around forever. Here's a home right here right on the main drag. Another empty lot here. Ready for your thriving business. Who knows, it might already be purchased. What, we, what we're seeing here in Jacksonville and the downtown area is that folks are uh, commercial uh, businessmen, companies are buying up these areas, businessmen and women, um, buying these areas up downtown and near downtown, um, creating more affordable housing, businesses, restaurants, you name it, they're building it down here. But there's always room for growth. We'll show you one of my favorite spots for breakfast and brunch, Uptown Kitchen, right across the street there. Tons of restaurants, coffee shops, things of that nature. Not only here in Springfield, but all sprinkled throughout Jacksonville. Okay, on this side, we're gonna see another empty, empty lot area, empty space. Here's the church ministry here. You'll see a lot of churches in Jacksonville. If you watch some of my other videos, I talk about the various churches, different denominations in the city of Jacksonville. Transmission shops, got the fire station on the corner over there. Shout out to our firemen and policemen. Always give them respect right downtown. Across the street there, you have the Dream It ice cream shop. And here's one of the outdoor restaurants. Right here on the corner of 14th Street, excuse me, 4th Street. Little outdoor door, Main Street Food Park. Nice little establishment. Nice streets of Springfield with the pavers. You see a lot of that. People buying houses, selling houses here, cheap houses, bandit signs. Everybody's looking for a deal in the housing market. Big business, 
whether owning or renting. And of course, I'm a real estate agent. I can help you with that. But we're out here giving you a tour of the area. We have car washes right here. Main Street Express car wash. Looks like that's closed down. That was years ago. But uh, across the street, you have Fred Conkey's Landmark Barbecue Shop. Looks like that's pretty popular over there. So a lot of room for improvement here in Springfield. So that's the interesting thing about Jacksonville. You're gonna see on one side of the street, you got thriving businesses on the other side of the street. You got dilapidated buildings of that nature. As things continue to move forward and up and up and all the investments that folks are putting in the city we definitely will see an improvement.
Yes, so as we're going through the Springfield neighborhood and community, you're gonna see beautiful homes, old style homes built way back when. You're gonna enjoy them very different architecture features, uh, cosmetic features. It is a rave over here in Springfield. People are buying up these old houses and they're uh, refurbishing them. They're updating them, making them very livable. And you know, it is a trend that's going on in Springfield. So as you look at these homes, you will hopefully enjoy them. What I noticed with the streets, some streets are nicer than others in Springfield. You have closer, it seems like closer to downtown, closer to the park. You have homes that are just in great condition from the outside, cosmetically, and then uh, aesthetically. And then you see the yards, you see the big sidewalks, community, you get a good sense of community. And these homes in Springfield, these areas, they have to be kept up to standards. You know, they have an association. And if you get your home fixed, you get your home worked on, there's certain things that you have to keep the, you know, integrity of those homes in this historic district. So remember Springfield was established in 1869. So it's the oldest historic district in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, super, super close to downtown. It's an urban uh, area. What you're gonna find on Main Street, what I noticed as I walked the streets down there, it's a mixture of businesses, entrepreneur businesses, restaurants that are getting started up. You'll see some, you'll see a bank, you'll see a post office, you'll see different uh, car shops, you know, you get your oil changed, tires, you know, you'll see a mixture of businesses. And then further heading towards, further down Main Street, going north, you're gonna see more uh, your traditional Captain D's, traditional uh, fast food restaurants there. So there's some empty commercial space available. There is growth going on in Springfield from a business perspective. You're gonna see different, you're gonna see churches, you're gonna see a lot of different things. Uh, the hospitals close by, University of Florida, and all that goes along with that. One of the top rated middle schools is not far at, a, at you know as well. You, they have tennis courts, basketball courts. You're gonna see them in the park. They have beautiful parks there in Springfield. Some of them are not as kept as well. What I would say in this area, just there is homelessness there. You're gonna see some of that. You're gonna see people walking around who they may ask you for money. Uh, and again, you're not too far from uh, downtown. So it's a great area to be in. Just wanted to show you around, get, let you see what Springfield looks like. Growing area, there's talks of businesses coming in to build apartments, different restaurants, uh, businesses, a lot of business opportunities, a lot of growth, strong knit community. Been down there many times where they've had car shows on the weekends, you know, different events, uh, running events, different things to go on in that city. So it's very vibrant, it's very upbeat, uh, exciting. And then, like I said, you have some streets that are laid back. Now you will see some houses uh, with graffiti on it, you know, houses that need fixing. You're gonna see that sprinkled in there. You know, you are in the urban area. So just wanted to just give you a little tour of it, give you a little insight of it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Check out some of my other videos on downtown Jacksonville, service downtown Jacksonville, surrounding areas in Jacksonville, all over the city, Nassau County, Clay County, St. John's County, living in Jacksonville. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you know, so you can get videos all the time from me. I'm putting out videos every week. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.